I am happy to announce today and uh, have him be here to speak to us for a few minutes on this uh, special occasion for these two districts. Uh, the Honorable uh, Secretary of uh, DEP, John Stevenson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I haven't been called Honorable too much lately, so I really appreciate that. But good morning, and thank you all for inviting me to join you here today. Kick things off, and also for the hard work of both of your districts. We've talked a lot about your service on the board, and I truly appreciate that. But there is so much staff work that goes into this, both in the districts and at DEP. And here in Florida, our waterways play a big role in making this one of the most popular states in the nation. And so who wouldn't want to live near one of our clear, clean springs or our riverways? And since we're one of the sweet tea line, I can say that's why we're all here in North Florida. And uh, AKA God's country. That's why protecting these waterways and ensuring we have a clean and wide supply of water for our future generations remains a top priority of Governor Scott, the Department of Environmental Protection, and Florida's water management and so many of our regional partners who are here today. We are fortunate to have a forward-looking water funding structure here in Florida. This forces us to think both regionally and collaboratively. Through programs like the North Florida Regional Water Supply Partnership, DEP, and the Water Management Districts work collaboratively with other agencies and stakeholders to implement effective and consistent water resource planning and management. Through this partnership, we're making sure that Floridians across 14 counties that's nearly 8,000 square miles will have the water resources they need for our environment, our communities, and our growing economy over the next 20 years. By working together not only at the state government level, but also with stakeholders from local government, utilities, agriculture, and the environmental community, we created a plan that identifies key water conservation efforts and alternative water supply projects that will ensure our water supplies meet our future needs. This plan is the result of multiple, I mean, dozens, I think y'all had, I would read it, there were 30, 36 uh, workshops and meetings, public workshops, I want to commend all of those involved for their hard work and their cooperation. I look forward to working with you all as we work to protect and preserve our water and natural resources. I can't say again, I know Mr. Chairman, I came and visited y'all, I'm trying to get around to each of the districts, but thank you again so much for what you do. Um, Ann and I were talking earlier, this is a relatively new partnership. Now, new in government terms, this is within the last four years that this has happened. This would have happened without the leadership of Governor Scott and the leadership of your executive directors here. What NOAA and you are doing to provide for this area is very, very meaningful. And you have to make tough decisions. They're not always the most pleasant ones, they're not always the most popular ones, but they are certainly very important ones. So, once again, I appreciate your hard work and dedication. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. 